Hey everybody, uh, this is Clayton. Um, I am here today to show you how to install a voltmeter and ignition switch on your Emu Voro Roadrunner. Um, for those of you that own other Emu or Voro products, you might know that um, they include a voltmeter and uh, ignition switch, just like my cruiser here. So what I'll do here is I'm going to show you so on the cruiser, you've got this ignition switch. When you turn it on, it displays the voltage, and that allows you to secure the scooter. Um, I ride it up to the party store, uh, do grocery runs with it. So um, leaving it unattended with someone just being able to push the button on the display and ride away is unacceptable, and I don't really feel like lugging the 15-pound battery around the store with me. So. I did some research on the controllers um, and found um, out a way to do this. Uh, it's extremely simple. It's three wires uh, to hook up and uh, what, it, what we're doing, the controllers on the Roadrunner do not have the dedicated connector for power um, cut off. Um, but what we're actually doing is we're interrupting the power circuit that goes to the display. So where your power switch, your speedometer, odometer, battery meter is, and we're grabbing the voltage from that and the ground from that. So that's what's going to make our voltmeter work. And then we're also um, interrupting the power signal that goes to it when the ignition key is off. So no one can push that. If they push the power button, nothing's going to happen because there's no power for that display to turn on which is what commands the controllers to turn on and therefore lets you ride. So uh, with that being said, um, I'm going to pause here for a minute and get some things ready, get the seat off, um, get my um, wire guide through the frame to pull the wires, and then I'll be back and I'll show you what I've done so far and uh, we'll keep going. So happy days, um, my beautiful car. Um, I ride scooters at the track. Um, I'm a... Uh, driving instructor for performance driving schools and uh, private track days. So this is my uh, my track toy, uh, beautiful BMW, and uh, that's what actually got me into scooters. So being able to get around the pits um, efficiently and quickly uh, to student to different students' cars between sessions and and whatnot. So uh, that's what got me into scooters in the first place when I bought my cruiser. And uh, the Roadrunner just seemed like the next logical step, and I'm loving it. So here's our first upgrade. Talk to you again soon. Okay, everybody, we are back. Um, what I've done so far is gotten the ignition switch mounted. Um, very, very easy. Basically uh, pulled the grip off, uh, removed the throttle, removed the brake, um, slid that on. Um, the next step we need to do is we need to get the wire from this all the way back to um, our electronics bay. Um, my favorite way to do that is I have an old huge zip tie. Um, and what I did is I've pushed that through the frame um, so it popped out here out front. And then I've taken um, our controller wire, or our, I'm sorry, our ignition switch voltmeter wire, and I've just electrical taped that to it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull that back through the frame so we have those wires here uh, in the electronics bay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, we've got the control or the ignition switch wire um, through the frame and out near our electronics box. Um, when you order this guy, what you're going to find it comes with is three wires, a red, a green, and a black. Uh, the red and the green are the switched connectors. Um, the red also receives the input voltage for the voltmeter, and the black wire is your ground. So what we're going to do um, is you're going to locate the connector on the larger motor controller. So this is your rear motor controller. Um, this little guy here is your front motor controller. So the connector from the display plugs into the rear motor controller on the connector with a yellow, green, black, blue, and then red wire. So that red wire there uh, used to be right there next to the blue. 
Um, and plugged into that is this connector, which comes from the frame on the passenger on the left side, and that's coming from your um, speedo display and mode selection. So that also has the same wires on it. It's got the blue, black, green, yellow, and red. We're going to be working with the red and the black wire. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to connect red to red and then the other red to the green. So that's going to take the voltage that would have gone to the display and our ignition switch is going to switch that. And then we're going to take the black wire and we're just going to tee it in uh, with one of the black wires on the controller and that'll get us our ground for our voltmeter. So I'm going to go ahead and make these connections up here real quick and then uh, when I'm done I'll show you what it should look like completed and we'll test it. And uh, just a word of advice, um, anytime you're working on anything electrical with your scooter, make sure you remove your battery. Uh, there's a lot of stored energy in there and if you accidentally uh, tap a wire to something or ground something out that's powered, uh, you definitely don't want to be dealing with that kind of voltage. So uh, just remove the battery uh, to be safe. Be back in a few once I get these wires connected. See ya. Okay everybody, we're back. Um, I've got all the wiring completed. Um, so as I said, um, this is the wire that comes from the ignition. And we had a red, a green, and a black. And we did red to red on the large controller. And then we did green to red going back to um, the display. And then we tapped black into uh, the existing black. So you can see the black from that wire connecting there. And then we connected this back up to the controller. So this is the, this is the wire from the display. This is the wire from the ignition switch, and this is our rear motor controller. So what I can show you, one side effect of this is that the voltmeter is always on if the battery's in. Um, so I have a fairly charged battery, and it's showing me uh, 51.2 volts, 3. Um, and our display, uh, if I push and hold the button, nothing, nothing happens. If I turn our ignition key on and then push and hold the button, we get a normal startup. And then if I zoom out here and I'll show you as soon as I turn the key off, that display shuts off and the scooter's going nowhere. So we have successfully wired in a ignition switch and voltmeter. When you're out riding, it's not going to matter that that voltmeter stays on when you park. Um, if you want to, you can uh, just turn the key on the battery and pull it out a, a, a half an inch or so, so that shuts off for, for parking at long term or overnight. Um, I never leave the battery connected in the scooter when it's parked anyway, uh, just a safety precaution with uh, lithium ion and whatnot. But again, to review, we remove the grip, the throttle and the brake, installed the voltmeter and ignition switch. I'll post a link to this part in the description of the video. It's about $15 on Amazon. Uh, we ran that wire through the frame to come out here. So then we've got that wire and we connected that up to the wiring harness that comes from the front display. Red to red, green to red, and black teed in and now just gonna reassemble everything and I now have a much more secure scooter. So thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. Happy riding. All right guys, so here we are, done. Uh, everything's all put back together, seats back on. Um, all the stuff on the handlebars are tightened. Um, so one last time, you can see the keys off and nothing happens. Scooter won't go anywhere no power, turn the key on, put the key in, turn the key on, and then we power up like normal, and scooter moves. So again, if we turn the key off, you'll see the display kills, and we've got nothing, 
and then uh, if you want that voltmeter to turn off, um, just pull your battery out a tad. But again, I, that voltmeter is not going to use much current um, while you're, you know, in a store or parked for half hour, hour. Um, if you're going to park for longer, just uh, pull the battery a tad out and you should be good to go. But uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, happy scooting.